first existing search problem is traveling salesman problem in traveling salesman problem we are finding the shortest tour through a given set of n cities that visits each city exactly once before running to the sorry before returning to the city where it started as that means n cities are given now we have to visit each city exactly once and return back to the source means from which point he started the problem is we have to find out the shortest tour that means the length of this tour should be very small that we have to identify in the traveling salesman problem this traveling salesman problem is also called as tsp one of the convenient way of solving this traveling salesman problem is by modeling this problem into weighted graph where each vertices in the graph indicates the cities and the weighted edges represent the distance between two cities the problem can be stated as problem of finding the shortest hamiltonian circuit of the graph we can solve this problem by finding the different different hamiltonian circuits and uh, selecting the optimal hamiltonian circuit that covers a shorter distance now what is the meaning of hamiltonian circuit actually the hamiltonian circuit can also be defined as a sequence of n plus 1 adjacent vertices that is v of i0 v of i1 v of i2 like that up to v of i n minus 1 and again last one is v of i0 if you see properly here the starting vertex and the la last vertex are the same means the tour will be started from one node and visiting the adjacent node visiting the next adjacent node like that he will visit each and every adjacent node and reach to the starting node totally here the first node and the last node is same but the all the in, in between means v i 1 to v i n minus 1 that is totally n minus 1 vertices are here are distinct distinct means there is no duplicate here we can get all the tools by generating all the permutations of n minus n minus 1 intermediate cities in this case the first vertex and the last vertex is same it never be changes but the intermediate n minus 1 cities using these cities we are creating the permutations we are generating one permutations and find out different different combination of these cities then we will find out whether this combination will create a hamiltonian circuit we are just interchanging the elements here in the vi1 to vi n minus 1 and find whether this will generate a hamiltonian circuit if it will generate a hamiltonian circuit we will find out the length of this tour if the tour is very very shortest we are returning that shortest route as the solution
Now consider this example here. Now this is one graph. And uh, the to tour started from here. A node called as A. I have given only four nodes for simplicity. And these four nodes are nothing but A, B, C, D. And this is a weighted graph. Each node is connected to the corresponding other nodes directly. And its weight is given in the edges. Now, in my problem, I am starting from the node A. And I have to visit all the other nodes like B, C, D. And return back to A. There are different, different tools are there. To visit each and every node and return back to A. Now this is the first tour. We found that that is nothing but A to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. This is the first tour. Okay. Whenever whenever we calculate the distance covered here, it's nothing but two plus eight plus one plus three. Sorry, 1 plus 7. That indicates 18. Okay, the distance covered by this tour is nothing but 18 here. Now, we will, uh, we will just do the permutation and combination on this B, D, C. Okay, we identified one more power tour here called as B, D, C here. Now, one more tour is available here. B, D, A, B, D, C, A. This is one more tour. And find out the distance covered by this tour. It is nothing but 11. The next one more tour is A, C, B, D, A. That is nothing but A, C, B, D, A. Okay. Its distance covered is actually 23. Like that, we have some more tools. There one more tool is there. A, C, D, B, A. It's also 11. A, D, B, C, A. It's a 23. Tour covered is 23. And A, B, D, C, A is 18. Now, these are different, different tools to visit all the other nodes and come back to A. Now, we have to identify here which one is the optimal solution. If you see this output, only the two items contains 11 here and all other are larger values. So, this is, you pick any one of this one, and this becomes the shortest tour. So, the traveling salesman problem returns A, B, D, C, A, or A, C, B, D, A. If you see properly here, two pairs of the tours are same tour. But only the direction is changed. For example, this one A, B, D, C, D, A and A, D, C, B, A. The tour is same, only the direction of the tour is changed. So, instead of this is also A, B, D, C, A and A, C, B, D, A. This is also the same tour. But only reverse direction means same tour is two have sorry same tour having two paths with a different direction here. So instead of picking the sixth tour, I can pick only three tour. That is half permutations. We can pick only one tour instead of duplicate tour by picking any two 
node which is proceeding with each other. For example, in our example we think that B is always preceding the C. If whenever the C comes before first and B comes later, we think that that node is that the tour is repeated here. For example, see this example here. Here B comes first, then C. So A, B, C, D, A, I am selecting as the one two. If you consider this one, A, this is also the same tour but reverse order. A, D, C, B, A here. C comes first, B comes later. It's both two are same, but in reverse order. But C comes first here, then B. So I just reject this two because C comes first. Similar things happens here and here also. B comes first, C comes later. Yeah, C comes first, B comes later. So I just reject this two and pick only this two. Okay, by this we can minimize some of the tours, but the total number of permutation need is still be n minus one factorial, which is a exhaustive search approach. As the number of input here node increases, the number of tours are also increases in factorial manner. Here we are having only six tours. When we have four elements, if I have five elements, we have totally twenty-four different tours instead of six tours here. We have different maximum number of tours. Okay, but the order of growth of this exponential problem is factorial. Okay.